thousands of parents and students from Harford County protested in Bel Air tonight, urging the county to reopen schools. Take a look. This kid, don't take away my very first day with a nice little smile. He's trying to go off to kindergarten. WMAR 2 News, Ray Strickland spoke to parents and students about what they want the district to know before they make their final decision. Ray. The protest happened here outside of the Hartford County Schools building. It then worked its way up to Main Street. The message was clear and simple. Parents and students saying virtual learning is a disaster and that it's safe enough for schools to reopen. <laughs> Chanting, let them in and put kids first. About 50 parents and students protested in Bel Air Thursday night, demanding for Hartford County to reopen schools. This will be his first year in school. He's going to be a kindergartner, and um, they're going to take away his first, very first ever day of school. Robert and Kayla Mariscanis say the school's current plan for an all virtual fall semester will only hurt their kids, especially five year old Weston. I don't know how he's going to sit in front of a computer and do virtual learning because he doesn't even sit in front of the TV. Rising you senior know, Shelby Gore says she struggled with virtual learning in the spring, like but she says more importantly, she doesn't want to miss out on her last year. I'm going to get to miss out on choir, swim team, and just being in an environment with other kids and that's something that really keeps me going. The district does plan to provide laptops and internet access to every student and teacher to make things easier. And the plan is to also open up learning support centers for a limited amount of students. There was zero survey to the parents, to the taxpayers to ask what their preference was. Um, so, you know, now a lot of families are scrambling on what to do. Parents like Kayla and Robert feel it's safe enough to open schools for all students and teachers as long as they follow CDC guidelines. Mask, hand washings, hand sanitizers, cleaning, sterilizing. It's, it's their education that is a must. The county's plan isn't final, and while there's still time, these protesters are hoping their voices will be heard. They'll reconsider and go back to a hybrid model. Um, if, if not, then at least do it for the first uh, marking period and then reconsider. And I'm told the Board of Education here in Hartford County will hold a meeting on Monday to vote on their current plan. Reporting in Bel Air, Ray Strickland, WMAR 2 News. All right.